Hey there, Libra, Sun, Moon, Rising, and Venus. Welcome to Divine Conversations and welcome to this singles reading for you. Yes, um, thank you guys so much for tuning in. First things first, my windows are open. I have wild chickens and roosters that live in the area, so you're going to hear them. Um, and it's hot in here, so I need to let the air flow. But this is a general reading for Libra, Sun, Moon, Rising, and Venus. Libra, singles, okay? We could be absolutely speaking to a cross watcher here. So keep that in mind, definitely. Definitely could be speaking to a cross watcher here. Also, this could be for someone that um, finds themselves in some sort of situationship, okay? But if that's the case, then you're not probably not really even sure if you're with this person or not. You probably still consider yourself to be single, okay? But anyway, let's get into this. For my Libra, Sun, Moon, Rising, and Venus, my Libra singles, what's going on for Libra? Okay, you've got free yourself and playfulness. I feel like this is a message for someone who is a little bit too rigid. Might be someone may consider them or others may consider them to be, uh, to, to, you know, have a stick up their ass. Um, the, the thing that I'm getting, the question that I'm getting from here for you is why so serious? Um, you're having to free yourself from this person or you Libra is having to free themselves from a situation from the past. Yeah. Oh my gosh. Um, you're needing to free yourself from situations from the past that have really made you incredibly rigid because that level of, I feel like you're, you're, this is for a message for someone who's like not even trying to entertain someone that, that even remotely comes off as being playful or childish, um, message, a ch childish energy is not the bad, is not the worst thing. It just depends on how far that person takes it. And I'm pretty sure this is for someone that has been involved with someone in the past or maybe multiple people, a few people in the past um, that has been really extremely childish, but that childishness was taken to a level of selfishness. Like I'm getting like a brat, a man child, um, a woman child even, or like someone who is just lacking in the maturity enough to handle the situation properly and appropriately. They took that childish energy way too far. And it doesn't even have to be that you were romantically involved with someone like that in the past. It could just be a level of social conditioning or you observing people being childish in life and or in relationships and others um, and others like still dealing with that. And you're sitting here, sitting here single, single as fuck and watching people be in these childish relationships and situations being like, I can't even believe you're in that. But see, that's where a level of extreme righteousness is coming through. That's where we're a level of having kind of like a stick up your ass, <laughs> for lack of a better term, is getting in your way. Now, as I was saying, talking about or picking up on the energy of like past circumstances, this card came out. You have camera, reminiscing, keepsake, perception, learn from the past and make memories. But it's your memories from the past or what it is you've learned from the past um, that has caused you to be in this rigid energy. And you're really, in order for you to really find a level of a relationship that would work for you, you have to free yourself from this energy and allow yourself to be playful see yeah and then the next oh this one too okay Ooh. okay and then the next card that came out here is coffee cup meeting and conversing savoring the moment feeling uplifted and friendship i always say that the best way to have a real solid long-term lasting relationship with someone is to be friends with them first or at least to have some level of camaraderie or to be able to you know you have to be able to look at this person experience this person see who they are for themselves and be like yeah i could be friends with that person that is really a great way to build a great place to build a relationship with someone yeah you guys have you ever been in a situation in which like You've met someone and at first you were kind of like, mm, I don't know about that person. But then as time went on and you started to get to know this person, like you ended up hanging out with them a few times. You really got to like talk to each other and blah, 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 and whoop de whoop and all that shit. And then all of a sudden later on, you're like, whoa, I actually like this person. And then all of a sudden romantic feelings start to come into play. That's that, that's that friendship aspect. But by you not allowing yourself to be playful, you can't even allow yourself to have that kind of friendship with someone because like, yeah, you can have friends that are all serious and rah, 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 but like your best, your best friends, your true best friends are people that you can have fun with, but that's where the playfulness comes into play. And then you have the 
Twin Flame card. So this could be a reading for someone who is dealing with a Twin Flame energy, who is on the Twin Flame path, uh, or someone that you feel is your Twin Flame, or you've gotten confirmation is your Twin Flame. But see, that also makes sense because the Twin Flame situation is not really all gumdrops, rainbows, butterflies, and happy days. The Twin Flame situation is a very healing situation. And I feel like in order for this situation to be able to progress and move forward, especially if it's a Twin Flame situation for you, um, I feel like you have to let go of how much healing you're needing to do. Let go of the focus on all the healing and all the work and all the toxicity that is coming up 555 five, five on the counter. And allow yourself to be playful with the situation. Even if you aren't in a twin flame situation, there are still ways that people can heal and grow and evolve. I don't want to say change because that's where we get, especially when it comes into romantic situations, that's where we get a little bit toxic because you're like, no, no, you, no, no, you've got to change. And it's not even about that. People will change naturally if you allow them the space to grow. If you allow yourself to be playful with the situation, it's not about changing someone. It's about evolving in your sense of self, in your sense of being, in your sense of who you are. And I feel like someone here, especially if you are dealing with a twin flame situation, Libra, I feel like someone here is way too caught up in the, in the work that's involved. And in order for, and really I'm feeling like in order for you guys to really be able to gravitate back together, you might be in separation, but in order for you guys to be able to gravitate back together or find a way to really truly relate with each other outside of the realm of all of the friction and all the, the, the drama and all the triggering and all that, you're going to have to free yourself from a lot of that tension and allow yourself to be playful with the situation. Uh, even, yes, for definitely for twin flames, but even if you're not in a twin flame situation and you still resonate with this, that level of allowing yourself to be playful will ultimately allow you to work through the challenges that you're being faced with, whether you're single or whether you're in a situationship, okay? Tarot, please, what's going on for Libra? What messages do we have for Libra in terms of this? First card you have is the Knight of Cups in reverse. Oof. Oof. The Knight of Cups could represent that level of playfulness. Really, the mostly that would be the Page of Cups because that would represent like your inner child, a very childlike energy. Um, but there is a way to be playful and be mature about it. And I feel like with the Knight of Cups in reverse, you've hit a situation in which you're not, you're not even, or this person is not even willing to be in that more mature level of playfulness. The Knight of Cups understands the balance or is at least is, a, is a, at a stage in his development or her development in which they are starting to begin to understand the balance between playfulness and maturity. So maybe that's, that is the blockage here, yes, but that also the Knight of Cups reverse could represent you working, on, working through that lesson of learning how to balance being playful with being mature at the same time. What's going on for Libra? Another reversal, the Hermit in reverse. Whoops. Okay. Libra, one last card, please, for Libra. Okay, well, we got two, we've got two more. Oh, all right, so you have the Knight of Cups reversed, the Hermit reversed, the Nine of Wands upright, and the world in reverse. Um, and then the overall energy, there's that page of cups. There is the inner child, the childlike aspect. You could be 80, 90, 100 plus years old and still be able to allow your inner child to be free and to express himself or herself through you. There is no age limit in terms of <clears throat> being able to be playful. I feel like someone doesn't, really doesn't want to hear that message because my throat got choked up at that time. And that is confirmed by this hermit in reverse here. And I was just, I was just saying this to Gemini because the hermit came out for Gemini as well. You might be dealing with a Gemini. Um, we have, we also have water signs here. We have cancer, 
um, Scorpio Pisces. Specifically Pisces though, with the page and the Knight of Cups, I do see the pages and the Knights as the mutable signs. So we definitely have strong Pisces energy here, potentially. Could also be a Cancer or a, a Scorpio. We also have Virgo energy here with the Hermit. Uh, we have Fire Sign energy as well. Uh, Aries, Leo, uh, Sagittarius with the Nine of Wands. Um, and then we have the fixed signs here. So uh, uh, Leo, Je um, Aquarius, uh, Taurus, and Leo, Aquarius, Taurus, and Scorpio with the world. But what's going on here is, yes, someone is way too rigid. Someone, for lack of a better term, and this is probably triggering you, and if it's triggering you, then take it as it resonates because that's where, that is a good way to, for you to find where it is you need to heal. But someone literally has a stick up their ass. But that's because they are not trying to get hurt. And more specifically, what I just heard was they are not trying to find themselves in the positions that they saw other people in. You don't even necessarily have to have been in those situations in the past for you to have this wall up, for you to have this extreme sense of resistance. This might, ooh, we really might be talking to a Virgo here who is kind of in a, a, associated with a Libra, or you could be a Virgo Libra cusper. And because Virgo can be extremely rigid, I would say the most rigid out of all the earth signs, mostly because Virgo is really naturally, innately oriented around physical perfection and or perfecting things. You're trying, someone here is trying to be too perfect. That's not going to help you when it comes to relating with people. It doesn't even have to be romantic. When it just comes to interpersonal relationships, that strong sense of perfection is not going to help you. That is going to drive people away eventually, unless you are connected to someone who is just who has that much perfection oriented as you. You're going to have to go within. You're gonna have to, there, there, there is, I, I even feel like this is someone here and I, I don't mean to be disrespectful or insulting, but there is someone here who is not even willing to look at themselves and look at their rigidness and look at how they are actually re reflecting or pushing away a potential love offer. Page of Cups could represent someone that's trying to come forward towards you and give you a sense of uh, love and affection but because you don't want no man child and i'm not saying i'm not condone i'm not saying you need to be with a man child i totally get that but you're not even allowing yourself to be playful enough or this person is not even allowing themselves to be playful enough to allow love to come in let's clarify knight of cups reversed please the eight of pentacles reversed Someone here is also not even willing to put the time and the effort into it. I understand that because the feeling here is that I'm not trying to put no time and no effort into someone that's or something that's just going to end up not working in the end. But if you really want to have a, a, a loving relationship, a balanced relationship, a worthwhile relationship, you're going to have to put the work in. It's not something that's going to happen overnight. And something that does happen overnight, I promise you, is probably not going to be, have, not going to have any staying power. This is very much confirming the Knight of Cups reversed, now so far clarified by the Eight of Pentacles reversed, is very much feeling like an individual, uh, or it's very much confirming that energy of you need to be able to ha be friends with this person so that you can, first and foremost, so that you can ultimately build on the relationship over time. Clarify the Knight of Cups, please. The Tower in reverse. Whoa. But, okay. Okay. Because the Tower is reversed, though, because you, like I said, this person or you or this person here doesn't want to end up with a Tower moment doesn't want to end up in a situation where suddenly this is not working. Now we put all this time and effort into it and it's blowing up in our faces. But that is the cycle you are keeping yourself caught in. By resisting anything like this, you are keeping yourself in a loop. 
this is the karmic cycle here. This is that karmic hamster wheel that this person or you are cycling through. Overall energy is the high priestess. You're going to have to allow yourself to step into the unknown. You never know how anything is gonna work out, ever. All you can do is just be present for it and go with what, what happens. But if you don't even allow yourself to try, then you're never even gonna achieve what it is that you want to begin with. Let's clarify the hermit in reverse. Clarif ooh, ooh. Five of wands, conflict, differing of opinion, internal conflict. I feel like this really isn't even about the external. This is about what's going on internally. This five of wands, yes, could be differing of opinion, um, trying to work things out with people outside of you, but not whatever, but I, it also could represent internal conflict and i feel like that's mostly what's going on here because we are clarifying the hermit reversed this is more about what you've got going on internally your internal opinions your internal belief systems maybe your subconscious beliefs that are causing this disruption that are causing this blockage for you hermit reversed yeah four of pentacles okay someone is being way too rigid someone is holding on to a belief system or a way of thinking that is causing this conflict. And finally, we have the Six of Wands in reverse. This is keeping you from your victory. This is very similar to the Gemini energy in which we were saying, you have to go within. Um, in the Gemini reading, you might wanna watch it. Maybe you have a Gemini placement, but in the Gemini reading, we were talking about how someone may be t potentially saying, well, this person needs to go in and figure out what they want, figure out, figure out themselves. Okay, but maybe you should do the same thing too. All relationships are a two-way street. Overall energy is the three of pentacles. The three of pentacles represents partnership, but it also self represents mastery and self-mastery. You are gonna have to go within to work out this inner conflict in terms of what it is you are stagnant on or what it is you are holding on to that is keeping you from achieving the victory that you want. So why are you, why is you, why are you or this person so resistant? Nine of Wands absolutely represents resistance here. Clarify the Nine of Wands, please. Why is this person so resistant? Okay, Queen of Pentacles, Capricorn energy or Earth sign energy. Again, Virgo or Taurus, but specifically with the Queen of Pentacles, it's Capricorn. But you ain't trying to take no shit. I get it. I get it. There also could be a level of resentment here. Now, the Queen of Pentacles is not reversed, so that's a good thing. So I don't feel like it's really all about the resentment. But it's really about not wanting, not being willing to accept anything less than what you know that you're worthy of. But that doesn't mean you can't be playful with the situation. That doesn't mean you can't have fun with the situation. But what I'm getting with the Queen of Pentacles here is that you're being too rigid. Or this person is being too rigid. It's not reversed though, that's interesting, Nine of Wands. Okay, there, okay, well Libra, you're showing up. Or Libra is showing up for this reading. The Nine of Wands, excuse me, the Nine of Wands is Clarified by the Queen of Pentacles, Justice, and the Ace of Cups. So the Queen of Pentacles represents Earth and commitment. Okay, Libra, you could be dealing with a Gemini or you really might have a Gemini placement because the King of Pentacles came out for Gemini. And what I'm picking up on here is there is a similarity in terms of these readings. You might wanna watch that reading. Um, but you're looking for your counterpart. Okay, that's great. But in order for that counterpart to come in, you're gonna to have to accept love, playfulness, joy, spontaneity. The, the earth signs, the king and the queen of pentacles are not so spontaneous. Okay. But also what I was saying about the Queen of Pentacles here is the, the, this represents Earth, right? And the Queen of Pentacles is uh, an expert nurturer, an expert grower, an expert builder, okay? Um, she represents that Earth side of the Empress. 
that ability to grow anything from the ground, from the earth, given the proper circumstances. Now, for something to grow, for a seed to be planted and ultimately grow, it needs fertile soil and ultimately it will need sunlight, but it also needs one other thing, water. You're going to have to allow yourself to accept playfulness, joy, sentimentality, emotion, water. That's what's going to bring justice into your life. That's what's going to bring in what it is you know you are worthy and deserving of, Queen of Pentacles. But if you don't even give the opportunity for that to be brought to you, then, you're, then your seed is never going to grow. Page of Wands. More page energy. Specifically, could be a Sagittarius, could be any other fire sign, Aries, Leo. You're going to have to change your alignment. You're going to have to change the way you approach the situation. You're going to have to allow, accept water into the situation. Okay, finally, let's clarify the world, which is the ending of a cycle. Allowing you to cross over into the next. Clarify the world. How do we end this cycle for Libra or the cross watcher? I will clarify the world, please. Mm-hmm. Yep. 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 Okay. The world is clarified by the Queen of Cups reversed death and the Seven of Pentacles. This might be a situation in which maybe it's not necessarily the playfulness. Maybe it's the lacking in emotion or a lacking in emotion, an ability to be emotionally aware. Maybe lack of boundaries. Maybe that lack of boundaries was from the past. But you're going to have to accept emotion. Or this person is going to have to accept emotion and go through the, the transformation through that and understand how that nurturing energy is needed, that, that water energy is needed, that playful energy is needed, that somewhat of inner child, I guess I want to say, energy is needed in order for you to receive the harvest that you're looking for. You're going to have to transform out of this. You're going to have to transform out of this state of a lack lacking of emotional awareness or a lacking the ability to accept emotion in order for you to find your king, the king of pentacles. Whether it's an earth sign or just a person that is able to match your level of desired commitment, okay? Because the pentacles suit is all about commitment but you have to let yourself be playful. You have to free yourself from this rigidness. You have to allow a sense of flow with the queen of cups here. Also Scorpio energy with death. So that's more water energy here. You're gonna have to allow yourself to accept the flow in order to get what it is that you want, okay? All right, Libra, I'm going to leave it there. Thank you so much for tuning in. I hope this was helpful for you. Please make sure to smash that like button for me. Leave me a comment in the comment section down below and subscribe. Yes. And uh, if, you're look, if you'd like a personal reading with me, I'm available for that. Check the information in the description box below. Yes. Excellent. I hope you have a great day. I'm sending you so much love. And I look forward to connecting with you again for our next reading very, very soon. Yes. Cool. Bye. <laughs>